Hey YouTube, it's Creeper Crawler. Hey, I debated even putting this video out, so uh, if you want real high quality stuff, you might want to just skip this one, but uh, I figured I'd put it out there. Uh, the other update video went pretty good. This does have some good info in it uh, as far as how I did the clutch on uh, the workhorse, which I'm real happy with, um, so I'm going to lead you right into that right now. Well, that's uh, more idlers than I really wanted, but I've asked around with a bunch of different ways of doing it and I just don't see how to do it without making some major compromises getting it to work right so this little baby pulley is going to be hard to get to not slip so this one had to be here I mean it could have been moved up but regardless it had to be up here because I don't like the belt hanging down so I did a Josh Theory clutch shout out to Josh Theory he's the one that come up with this idea I think it's pretty smart um, when you're, you know, the clutch has sprung right now. So this one comes around and it actually, when there's a little more slack on it, I don't know, maybe I can pop this one off. Yeah, you can kind of see that it, I mean, it's got, I mean, I don't, I mean, that's about as max wrap as you can get. I'm going to get a longer belt. This one's going to be too short, but so it should get even more. You know, these two should be fairly close to touching, which will be about as much wrap as you could possibly get on that pulley. And then this one, I debated cutting out more of this, but this is really structural in the tower. I mean, I probably could have, but then it would have been slapping into it. So I decided to put that one in. So that, you know, with this, with this belt was a little looser, which it will be the longer one. Um, should be real nice as far as this lining up with that and so I just need to put my upper and lowers on to guide it and uh, put my wraps on the pulleys and this this version one which is just single belt will be done Thought I'd do a quick vid here. Um, I'm out here working on the workhorse and getting these are trailer hubs, I'm putting on it. Uh, seems a few of you other guys have done the trailer hubs or even just the trailer hubs on your uh, trailers. Uh, what I've been doing, I do it on my Suzuki Samurai before I learned the trick or tried it out. But uh, you just drill this to quarter 28, which is the number three bit. We're gonna quarter 28 fine thread quarter inch tap down in it and you get you some grease fittings and you throw a throw a 90 in there I don't know if I got yeah there's a 90 throw a 90 in there and uh, then you can grease your uh, bearings on the fly you don't have to dick around with you know packing the bearings by hand or anything like that just stick your grease gun on there roll them around a little bit grease 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 roll them around a little bit grease 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 uh, take you know have the cap off so you can see the grease coming around the thing and then once you get them packed full um every couple couple rides or if you have got a boat trailer you know every few times you dunk it just came through and give them a little squirt squirt and uh you're good to go that's my tip of the day well the uh problem with starting ended up being fucking there's a melted fuse in there uh, Gonna have to rewire some stuff. Was not impressed to see that. Um, but easy fix. But uh, speaking of wiring, it might melt. Got it on the dash switch. Now I've uh, actually mounted it, unlike I did on the other one. I just had it zip tied. So made a nice bracket, you can't see that and then made a nice short power cable that just goes from the starter power over to power that and then ran it up for the winch so we'll zip tie work and that'll be all done one more one step closer well you might see that there are two tire bars there and uh well, i don't want to ruin the surprise on the tires but Long story short, when I damn near broke my wrist with the tire iron, I just popped it back up on the bead, and I was running over to put it on the tractor. That's a weird sound. 
Like, fuck me. My other tire bar's in the fucking tire. <laughs>